Bats in the Clock Tower will be debuting at the Tivoli Theater on August 4th, 2011, 7 o'clock p.m. Get your tickets today. I let you slip. Yes, it was you who failed me. I who failed you? I thought we were supposed to be a team. We're nothing. You're nothing like me. No, you are worthless. Worthless? I'll show you who's worthless. Ah, there now. Looks like I'll just have to take care of the bats myself. <laughs> it's no joke. The captors of my dark night blacken my talons of a feather fowl as a familiar coldness sets in. to the Benita Show where we are rolling with Bats in the Clock Tower all-star leading cast. We have Doug who plays Batman. Come on Doug. Hi, how are Hi, you? Hi, good. good. Have a seat. Thank you. Doug, I'm so excited to have you here. Excited to be here. And world, does he not look like Batman? Does he not look like Bruce Wayne? You can vote on my YouTube channel. <laughs> on Char, Channel 8. <laughs> wow, well, you look, I tell you. You do. I, I, when you walked in, I said, that's not you got to play Batman. Uh, Bruce Wayne, wow. Thank you. So how has this experience been for you? Oh, that's, uh, that's a tough question to answer. The experience has been great. Um, there's a lot of ways uh, that I could answer them and answer that question, and it's all positive. It's been, um, it's been amazing to be able to play the character that you grew up loving. So. Wow. Yeah. And I got a ton of Batman movies, but I have three boys, so I got all the <laughs> Batman ever made. I got right. everything. Well, so now do you do a lot of acting? Um, I, I did a lot of acting and I still do some acting. I'm also in school, so graduate school. We are where my you, masters. Where you going to school at? I'm at Western University. Okay. I am too. What are you what, what are you Um psychology for counseling and therapy. Okay. Yeah. Hey, we have a lot in common. <laughs> my undergrad is psychology, but now we're going to master in communication. Very nice, yeah. Like this Benita show. You know? nice. But um, what, how did you get started in acting? Uh, through friends of friends that were in the industry. Um, some uh, worked as um, casting directors. Yeah. Uh, some worked in the music industry and had friends that were on the film side. And that's really kind of how I got my first break. It was a friend of mine was in the music industry and still is, he called me and said, hey, I've got this opportunity uh, you know, to be an extra on the film set. And so that was it. And uh, it was the first movie I did as an extra. And it was a ton of fun. It was a long night. Uh -huh. And I got my first taste of what uh, being on set for a full filming period uh, feels like. How long ago was that? Who was that? that was uh, well over two years ago. Okay. okay. And so what movie? It was, uh, I think the name has changed a few times, okay. but it, originally it was uh, Edgar Allan Poe's Light Gene. Okay. I played a film extra there, and I met uh, I met Scott okay. Stoltz at, yeah. at that filming, and uh, a couple of other casting directors, and it just kind of blossomed from there, and uh, made some friends. So. Uh -huh. Now, um, any, what other films have you done other than Back in the Um, I was, uh, I also had an extras part in Logan, which was a Disney film that came out not that long ago. Okay. I um, was also in a movie called Up in the Air. Yeah, I, uh, I, got to, I, got to, I got to film a couple of scenes uh, directly with George Clooney, about as close as you are right now. Okay. And Kendra. That, <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Uh, wow. That, yeah, that was quite an experience. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Now you got the leading role in Bats in the Podcast. Yeah, it was, yeah, it's an honor. It really is an honor. The only other role that is, I don't even know if it, it, it comes close to this one, but uh, I had a co starring role in a, a monster piece theater film um, with some of the other members uh, that are also a part of this one. But this one uh, takes the cake. I, I Absolutely. Know. I know. I know. Absolutely. Watch the, watch and it's the, awesome. It's, yeah, yeah. It's going to rock. Uh, you know, we watched the trailer right before coming in here, and yeah. I, I tell you, I cannot wait to see it. I right. cannot wait. Yeah, that's going to be awesome to see the final product. Yeah, 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 it is. 
Now, is there any, because you know we're rolling, so is there any last words you want to tell the world? Anything about you you want them to know? Oh, uh, um, Any words of encouragement for our artists out there? Absolutely. Um, I mean, I, you know, I think sometimes it sounds cliche, but if I had to deliver any message, uh, it's that if you have a dream and you really want something and it's in your heart, then go for it. And that's what you do. And you don't let anything stand in your way. And what that means is assessing every little situation as it comes. And there's going to be discouragement. Uh, and there's going to be sometimes feelings of lost hope. But honestly, uh, there's not. There's always somebody around you, someone you're friends with, someone that's in the industry that you're working with currently uh, that, that, that has that hope for you and it's ready to go. So don't, don't let it stand in your way. Just do it. The, that, those are awesome words of encouragement, man. I, <laughs> you, that's good. That's good. And it encourages me. It encourages my heart, too. So. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Taking, Thank you. Uh, really. You're welcome to come on the Benita Show whenever you want. Okay. You're going to catch yourself on Charter Channel 8. Okay. On the Benita Show. Awesome. All Thank right. you very much. <laughs> very much a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Say bye to the world. Bye, everybody. Bye, world. Doug. And wrap. Yeah. Yep, that's right. I got you talking bad about the world. <laughs> 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 so, can you give her a hug? Life is pretty good. That's all right. Yeah. So, yeah. Can you too? Can you give her a hug? Don't go far. You know, we're gonna see stuff afterwards. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. give him a hug. Give him a hug. I forgot to get individual pictures. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you again. Appreciate. And more from SES Studio Film with Scott Stoltz. Any final words you want to tell the world before we bring everybody in here? I just want to thank the Benita Show for having SES Studio Films come on and, and give them the world give the world the world premiere teaser for Bats in the Clock Tower. Um, I want to thank my wife Carrie and my son Luke for, for being very patient and, and also loving the craft and, and the creativity that we that we work on together, as well as having a fabulous team that I've worked with. I have many different associates in the film industry here that I'm going to give a shout out to. So we have Corner Film Productions, okay. we have RBG Studios, we have Force Power Studios, we have Ellie's Doghouse Productions, and Ant Max Entertainment that is the newest, uh, well I shouldn't say the newest because we worked together a couple years ago and then we reformed this alliance which is fantastic. Um, as well as, you know, I, Rock Your Socks Productions, yeah, I, I, yeah. I've worked with Eric yeah. and so uh, and then the newly formed Catcher Blake and Stoltz. Wow. So I just want to thank everybody who, who believes in, 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 in the vision that I have. Wow, that's good, that's good. You rocking and rolling, man. All right, we're going to say bye to the world. It's all about Benita. <laughs> FPS Film, man. Support the Benita Show. Oh, We need more people like her in St. Louis. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Don't touch that down. Next up, we have all of the cast members from Bats in the Clock Tower right here on The Bonita Show. Hello, world. We're getting ready to wrap up Season 2, Episode 2 of The Bonita Show with SES Films and the um, all the lead cast from Bats in the Clock Tower. And you, I tell you, it's been an awesome night. I have been so honored to have all these guys here. We're gonna, we have Scott Stoltz here from SES Studio. And I'm sorry, we skipped Donnie Blake, who's part of that team, his wife, um, Carrie. And then we have the guy who plays Batman. <laughs> Tell me who you are. Uh, my name is Doug Fessler. So, nice to meet you. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Ryan Gregory plays the, uh, the Joker. Eric A. Williams plays the Riddler. And then we have, ooh, Mike Farmer, who plays the Penguin. Wow. Tell us, give us a little one minute spiel on what it was like to work with Bats in the Clock Tower and what we can look forward to. Start with you, Penguin. Um, it was great. This is my first time acting. Um, if I call myself an actor or not, but um, I'm a chemist, by, chemist by day, actor by night. But I had a great time with this. Um, it's brought me out of my shell a little bit. I'm really an introvert, so this gave me a chance to. Um, show off my personality a little bit and um, make some really good friends here. These guys are great. And um, Scott's movie's going to be awesome to be epic. Awesome. Eric, what you got, big guy? I had a horrible time working on this movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. The director um, is uh, really hard to deal with. 
you know, I, I still have scars on my back. He beat you, David. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what you get. That's what you I, get. I, I, I appreciate it. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't enjoy working under those conditions. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, uh, we're here now, and uh, that's mine. And uh, I hope you all will see the movie despite our treatment. You know, and uh, I think it comes out well on screen. So. Please go see Nobody's gonna send money, Eric. <laughs> Ryan, what we, you got? We, we can't always we can't all be orange guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I thought it was gonna end up please send money for because I got beat up. Wow. Ryan, go ahead, baby. Hey, uh, I played the Joker. Um, I had an excellent time on set. Uh, we had a great uh, crew. Um, everybody did an excellent job. Um, probably the best time uh, I've had on set in, uh, in a long time. And uh, Everybody did a, a wonderful job doing what they did. I uh, met some great, fantastic uh, friends along the way. And uh, we all just uh, worked as if we worked with each other for, you know, years. And it, it, was, a, it was a great time and I think a, a really great place and great setting. I enjoyed myself a lot. Batman. Batman slash Bruce Wayne. Uh, uh, my name is Doug Fessler, and um, it was an honor to work on this film. Uh, to kind of piggyback uh, what's been said already, um, the comfort level on set really was was natural, and uh, uh, this was by far the most fun that I've had working on the movie set, and I've been on a few of them. And uh, the movie is going to be awesome. Uh, the talent, I think that. Uh, sits on this couch with everyone that played in the film and the creative vision um, of the uh, directors and the producers and associate producers uh, is really amazing and it, it, you know it's uh, it's gonna be neat to see the finished product so and I think you're gonna like it. All right cool. cool. I wasn't an actress or anything um, I helped with the uh, production management um, and the okay. producer and yeah, editing and Things like that, all the other loose ends. So. And baby wrangler. <laughs> yes, baby, Turning baby around Superman. Here. That's a lot of hats. Yeah, this is loose. So, I'll be an up and coming star with these days, I guess. <laughs> he's, a, he's already a star. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's had a long day. Yeah. I'm Scott Stoltz with SEO Studio Films, and uh, it's, it's been a pleasure to be on the Benita show, and my son's getting very fussy. <laughs> Um, but it's been a pleasure. Uh, I've, I've had the opportunity to work with some great talent while producing this film over the last two and a half years. Um, so we tried to feed Eric well and, and <laughs> take care of him and, and make sure that we could keep him as warm as possible if need be and, or cooled there if, if that was the case. And uh, so don't let him uh, give him too much of a hard time. Cause, uh, <laughs> Uh, he's been one of my main guys all the way through. Uh, oh. I've had my best interest out in him for the most part. Um, one of the funniest moments that we had that I still remember was the first day on set, and uh, Eric had forgot his lines, and he took off because it was extremely cold where we were at, at that point. And uh, he took off out the door, and the space they were in had a piece of carpet that was raised up, and we didn't see it. But we can definitely hear, you know, Eric going, getting laid out on the ground. All oh, lies. <laughs> <laughs> but like a trooper, he came in and he nailed his part. And then another funny moment was that same night we set the fire alarm off in the space where we were at, and uh, Eric and Ryan were and 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 Doug were trying to go through their scene and nail their lines. And in the background. Um, you can hear the sirens coming slowly closer and closer to finally, you know, we had to cut. And uh, that was the end of that scene, the end of that uh, uh, production at that particular location. So we packed up and we outloaded for four stories, um, a four story loadout um, with no elevator, or eight, and then went to another set and proceeded to shoot until about one or two in the morning. So those are memorable moments. But uh, it was, it was, that was a key thing right there that I knew that. Uh, um, these guys were in it for the long haul. Right. They could make it through that day, we could make it through anything. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Wow. Donnie. What oh. You got, man? oh my god, it was already touched upon the food. <laughs> <laughs> it was food, you know? Gosh, this is St. Louis. And you walk in somewhere and there's food. <laughs> and um, also Scott has a lot of cool toys. I was really impressed. I'm not very mechanical, but I know what cool toys are. 
And for the first time, I'd like to rename the movie. I didn't tell anybody this. I want to call it Batman Gets a Wedgie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh God! <laughs> World. Only, only, only Donnie would do that. You yeah, know? only you know Donnie could get away with a lot of stuff on a Benita show that he probably couldn't get away with anywhere else yeah. because yeah, yeah. he's New such, title, yeah. He makes me laugh. He did. I and think it, I was just thinking that while we were sitting here, he got everything but a wedgie, but I think he might have got one. I'm really yeah. scared about what my future looks like. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? Why bet? Why bet? Because the wedgie he says uh, I got everything but the wedgie, so. <laughs> Hey, we're coming for you, Batman. That's fine. I'm usually waiting. So. Oh, all right, world. I'm excited about what's going to be happening with SES Films and and, and his, the Blake, the catcher Blake and Salt um, LLC. I mean, filmmaking is just growing and growing here in St. Louis. And when you see the bats in the clock tower, you'll know what I'm talking about. And you're going to see the world premiere. Uh, viewing of Bats and Pop Tower right here on the Bonita Show. The teaser. The teaser, I'm sorry. <laughs> the world premiere teaser. See, I need that. I need him to correct me. So we're going to say bye to the world from all the lead cast members of Bats and the Clock Tower. We want to love you. Check us out. Check us out. Check out SES Films. Bye, world. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Midwood. There you go, Midwood, baby. Midwood, right here. In That's right. He said wood. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. All right. Good. Right off. Yeah. Get your tickets today to Bats in the Clock Tower, the world premiere showing at the Tivoli Theater on Thursday, August 4th at 7 o'clock p.m. Log on to LandmarkTheaters.com and get your tickets today. Support your local St. Louis independent filmmakers. No, you are worthless. Worthless? I'll show you who is worthless. Take care of the bats myself. <laughs> it's no joke. The captors of my dark night blacken my talons of a feather fowl as a familiar coldness sets in. The episode of The Benita Show was brought to you by Randy Manning and Jess Murder Mystery. Call 1 888 234 9984. Again, that's 1 888 234 9984 to book your murder mystery dinner today. Up next, we have Eric A. Williams, who plays the Riddler in Fast and the Clock. Call it up, Eric. Eric times three. Put on my show three times now. <laughs> Get that on my show, Eric. <laughs> Hi, Eric. And, and then Scott noticed me, and that's how we met. He came up to me in the parking lot, told me all about SCS Studio Films, and. He's going to be uh, doing a channel on, on uh, the Reiku, if I'm saying it right, TV. I, I'm not like an alpha male. If there's a beautiful naked woman on a beach, I don't think I want to do her. It's just, no, I don't. No, don't hang in there.
Good job, Eric. <laughs>